YouTube, Dee's Key from Dee's Key Grills here, back with another cooking video. And today, we'll be making stuffed redfish with a crawfish stuffing. And from there, of course, we'll be putting it on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. So what I have here is actually two fish, uh, two redfish. One is three and a half pounds, and the other fish is roughly two and a half pounds. So these fish have already been, um, they've already been cut open to be stuffed. Uh, I definitely have all my ingredients to share with you on how we're going to make the stuffing that's going to go inside the fish. Then we'll take it out to the grill, show you exactly how we're going to cook this. Um, it will be a low cook, should take about three hours. Around 200 to 225 degrees is the temperature we're shooting for. So you can see we have some crawfish tails. This will be a part of our stuffing. Some of the regular ingredients that you would have in stuffing, celery, some onion, some bell pepper, and can't forget the not good for your butter, right? Gotta have that as well. Okay, and during this cook also, we'll get a chance to introduce another product. This is the Weber Fish Basket. So I haven't used this yet. Uh, it just arrived yesterday. What I'm concerned about is my fish may be too big to go in here. If they are, we're gonna try to get it in there anyway and maybe we'll have the tail hanging out or something like that. But this will be a good chance for us both together to be able to see how this thing works out. So this fish basket uh, will work on any grill. So if it works uh, for mine, it'll work for yours. So hopefully uh, we can get some good results by using this basket today. I wanna thank you for joining me. And next time you see, we'll be down to the cutting board uh, getting our crawfish stuffing together. After that, we'll be going out to the grill. Thank you so much again. Let's get cooking. Okay, YouTube, let's cut some veggies. As you can see right now, we're cutting up some bell pepper. I have already cut up the celery, and next I'll cut up the onion. Now, all of these ingredients will go into our crawfish stuffing. So we'll listen to a little music, hang out for a second, and uh, get this onion cut up. When we come back, we'll be heading to the stove to get started on our crawfish stuffing. Okay, YouTube, let's make some stuffing. So as you can see, we're adding a stick and a half of butter or three quarters cup of butter, melting that down. And then we added our veggies that we cut up. So our celery, our onion, and our bell pepper. So what we're trying to do here is just uh, soften the veggies. We don't want them too soft, just to where they're tender. So that's what we're doing now, letting those uh, get mixed up with the butter. I'm adding now the Old Bay seasoning, as you can see, uh, to give it more of that fish flavor, that uh, Creole type taste, and that's the reason for seasoning it with the Old Bay seasoning as opposed to some other seasoning. So next up, we're going to go ahead and add our crawfish tails. You can see now that the veggies are boiling, uh, they're bubbling down and uh, getting soft. So now we add our crawfish tails and we want them the same way, to just get tender. I'm not trying to cook them because remember they'll be cooking on the grill for three hours um, at about 200 degrees. So they'll continue cooking on the grill when they're stuffed inside the fish. So same thing, mixing up those and getting those translucent. So next thing we're going to add now is our crackers. So this is three rolls of Ritz crackers. I chopped them up and I got some small pieces, some big pieces because I'm using this as our stuffing. So Ritz crackers is one of the best kept secrets uh, for making the perfect stuffing. I've used that on a lot of different seafood dishes, uh, stuffed shrimp uh, for one, and of course this stuffed fish. But you add your Ritz crackers, three rolls, and then just uh, mix those into that same mixture. And right away, uh, the crackers get soft and it turns into that stuffing consistency. So you just stir it really, really well. And from there, um, we let that cook and simmer, let the crackers get soft and it turns into that stuffing type consistency. And after that, we'll put the lid on it and um, the lid itself will let it cook uh, internally. I'll turn down or turn off the stove and just let the uh, steam uh, soften up the uh, stuffing 
and uh, honestly that is pretty much the end of that process what I do now is let it sit for about three or four minutes I will open it back up after that time and just mix it up again and here's the ingredients to the stuffing uh, to make sure you guys uh, get every bit of it very easy to do we'll put the lid back on it let it sit until it's time to stuff the fish okay YouTube let's prep the red fish as you can see I'm cutting three large slits in both of the uh, red fish and I'll do that on the other side as well uh, this is to add flavor of course inside the fish with uh, the seasonings that I'm going to add and after adding the olive oil for a binder the seasoning I'll be adding today is the plow boys fin and feathers rub very good rub for seafood I apply generously on both fish as you can see and again we will do that on the other side so the three slits the olive oil and the seasoning as well next step we'll use the remaining butter that we have uh, and we disperse that evenly by putting those inside both of the fish uh, with the remaining butter uh, that we have okay stuffing time with the stuffing what you want to do is pretty much just get as much as you can inside both of the fish these things will cook internally on the grill and finish cooking like I told you before I try to pack it in as thick as I can and um, with the low and slow type cooking these things are going to be just crunchy and crispy and just a beautiful color uh, at the end of the cook okay YouTube as you can see no fish basket for this cook this is the Weber fish basket I talked to you about at the beginning of the video and what I wanted to show you is that unfortunately the fish basket just doesn't have the capacity um, to work for whole pieces of fish so um, I, I moved this around a little bit and as much as I tried there was absolutely no way this is going to work because I can't close it so look as you can see there's just no way and that's with one fish I mean God forbid if you try two. so this fish basket I'll try it out in a later cook but it's, it's going to be for fillet cooking and that's probably the best use for this Weber fish basket okay YouTube as you can see we're getting the grill ready let's get the fire started so we like we put our fire starter on the grill and now we're adding our chimney um, after that we'll let those coals ash over and I'm going to show you our minion method setup so as you can see in the grill we have this open area we have a piece of apple wood and I feel like apple wood uh, any fruit flavor is the best uh, to use for uh, cooking fish it has a lighter smoke flavor and it won't overtake the flavor of the fish so now we're pouring in our lit coals that have ashed over dead in the middle of the grill so these hot coals now will just reach out and start grabbing the remaining coals in the grill and it what it does is it promotes more even cooking more of a low and slow type uh, cooking and it's great for this fish because we're looking for a target temperature of about 200 degrees and for it to just grab the coals gradually it's easier to regulate so that's what we're doing here next thing we'll do is let it get up to temperature and now it's time to add our redfish so our grill now has reached 200 degrees and it's time to add these two beautiful pieces of stuffed redfish and as you can see we're just trying to position them in place these are going to cook again at 200 between 200 and 225 degrees and the target we're looking for is about three hours of cook time for this so I'll regulate and watch the temperatures and um, let you see how this is going to end up throughout the cook it's going to be a great cook I mean I'm telling you this fish is going to be amazing as you can see our grill is at 200 degrees I wanted to share that with you and show you how the Weber Summit can really dial in when you're using your dampers you can truly dial in your temperature and once it gets set man it's really a done deal all you have to do is monitor make sure that it is within that area but you set your dampers about a quarter of the way open and you're good to go what you see now is about 15 minutes into the cook and now I'm adding my lemon wedges and I'm trying to position them pretty close to where I cut the slits into the fish because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the lemon to during the cook just uh, release the juices from the lemon into the fish and add another layer of flavor to the fish again about 15 minutes into the cook we're going to close this thing up again and the next time we open up will be about 30 to 40 minutes later and I'll show you how it's doing from there 
Okay, YouTube, I wanted to show you how after an hour and a half of cooking, we're still at 225 degrees holding true. This grill is amazing. So, as you can see, our fish is coming along well. Our stuffing is starting to brown up and our fish is doing the same. So what you see me doing now is shooting it with canola oil. That's the spray that you see I'm adding. And that's just to promote even browning. Uh, it's also to give the fish a crispy outside uh, of course, while it's still being moist on the inside. So what we're going to do next is close the grill back up, and the next check-in point will be about two and a half hours into the cook. Okay, YouTube, we're two and a half hours into the cook with 30 minutes to go. You can see I'm adding more of the canola spray for the last 30 minutes of the cook. And what I want to do uh, now is I'm going to grab my spatula, because what I want to do is make sure this fish is not sticking at all on the bottom. And as you can see, it is not. It is not being, it's not sticking to the grill, so it's cooking really good. This fish is going to be great. What we're going to have is wonderful grill marks, though, uh, from this fish sitting there. But you see, the fish is moving fine, not sticking. And that's because we're cooking at such a low temperature that it, everything's cooking evenly. It's not too hot. And what we're going to have is a wonderful finished product to show you. So next thing up, we will take it to the cutting board, and as usual, we will see our finished product, and you guys can see how this awesome red fish turned out. YouTube, thank you for hanging out with me with the finished results. Check out this red fish. Doesn't it look amazing? I want to thank you as always. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to get a fork, and I want you to see how flaky this fish is, and I want you to see how wonderful the stuffing came out as well. One more time, like I tell you all the time, I really, really hope you like what we're doing here. And if you do, I ask that you please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, share this video with others. And as always, at D-Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. Enjoy the rest of your day, YouTube. Thanks for joining me today.